Welcome to Carnarvon Castle in North Wales, this dramatic venue, the start of this year's CGI UK Challenge. It's an event that over the next three days will test 100 teams in mind, body and team spirit. There are seven stages in total, but all the teams know at this point is where and when each one starts. The details are being hidden until the dash and grab that starts each event. Armed with the instructions, teams will have to think and act quickly. They'll be racing against the clock to score the maximum bonuses, and they'll have to finish the stage before the time runs out and the penalties hit hard. But I think it doesn't matter. Just run around with it. Some teams have been regulars to this event throughout its long history. Others will be learning what it's all about as they race. But everyone will be out to prove they've got what it takes to complete every challenge and compete for the win. Here's your commentator, Rob Walker. The first two stages will take place on Thursday night in Carnarvon. Running, riding and puzzling into the dark. A hundred teams poised and ready to go. We've got some very strong runners, we've got some strong canoeists, strong uh, mountain bikers, and we've got no brains for the uh, challenges. <laughs> <laughs> you've got matching outfits, you've got matching shoes. You guys are here to win. We're in it to win it, yeah, yeah. We've done much training together. Oh, incredible. Have we been training for... No, we haven't. We haven't done any... We've done a bit. We're, we're, as I said, we're all fairly, fairly fit, I think. Um, and so I think we're just going to enjoy it. I think our base level fitness will hopefully be made up by some of the challenges and puzzles we do in teamwork. So, yeah, we'll be right. We'll enjoy it. Defending champions AWE will, as always, face the challenge of veterans and puzzle specialists Accenture, as well as the all-round strength of Airbus. But there are plenty of other teams to watch out for, each with their own plan of how to win. We have um, cross-country runners, climbers, swimmers. We've, um, we've hand-selected this team on purpose to make sure we can cover every event. Who does your puzzles? It's probably me now. <laughs> The puzzling is soon underway, and for the newcomers, that means learning there's no room for error. What does that say? L -E -S -T -E -R. No, I'm sorry, that's wrong. L -E -T -S -E -R. No, I'm sorry. A beautiful setting, night draws in as stage one winds down. We did well. Yes. For newcomers, <laughs> yeah, we are, we are happy. <laughs> no time for seaside refreshments for these teams, just moments to catch their breath and assess their performances before heading off again on stage two. We've got a good uh, mixture of experience being new participants and, and old, so we think it's a good blend of a team. How about the puzzles? How'd you get on? I think we did really well. We're really looking forward to seeing how, how we got on. The next stage will take them under the castle itself, lost in observation challenges and a maze of alleyways as darkness falls. Planning is essential, but also takes up valuable time. And under the castle, surprises, not necessarily pleasant ones, lie in store. Teams must keep their heads and their nerve and make notes of what they see. Oh dear, it's going to be trouble now. Back above ground, questions and riddles will test them on how much they took in, if anything. Shaky notes written in the dark are of little use. How was it down there? It was scary, <laughs> frightening to death. Yeah, it was really frightening. Did you manage to take some notes? Uh, a few notes, but I can't see what I've written. Then it's back to base to test results and face the moment of truth with the marshal. 
Shock, horror. For some, all that effort leads to nothing. It's horrible. He was guilty, sorry. Unlucky, mate. What went wrong? Um, I got it wrong. She told me so. She broke my heart. Getting the clues was easy. Solving them was the problem. But uh, we got three. Really tough. Some of the puzzles were really long and complicated and they took a while to figure out. Did you get them? We got five, so pretty good. I think we got four out of six. So, uh, yeah, we're feeling good for tomorrow. Get rested. A great start for the PWC ladies in second place at the beginning of day two. An even better opening day for Accenture. With just one question wrong, they were close to a perfect score and sent out a formidable warning to their rivals. I think we had really experienced people who were helping us set our strategy and then just taking it easy, taking our time, not making mistakes, being really careful and also being quite adaptable on our strategy. I think we set something and then we sort of changed as we went and that worked in our favour because we kept cool heads. For the start of stage three, each team must choose a swimmer and Rebecca Adlington is an obvious choice for Team VAP. Teams will be competing in the UK Challenge's first mini aquathlon and their swimmers will be able to measure themselves against the double Olympic gold medalist who is competing in the event for the second year. Fraser Reid of BRE, a Scottish open water swimming specialist, manages to beat Adlington by just seconds before they pick up the stage instructions. After this, teams can begin a puzzling and canoeing combo that completes the stage. It can be hard to keep concentration at times, though. Not too many dunkings, and stage three is happily wrapped up with a high five. Stage four is the most physically demanding of all the events, with an ascent up Snowdon, Wales's highest mountain. But this is just one of the many challenges that lie ahead for the teams. The Snowdon Railway has been puffing its way to the top of the highest mountain in Wales since 1896. The teams must do the same themselves, but without the mechanical assistance preferred by many tourists. With canoeing and biking too, it's a stage where speed counts, but there's plenty of time if you get the strategy right. AWE and Accenture size up the stage and each other as they wait for the big start. I feel quite comfortable uh, based on the activities so far and I think we've you know, uh, switched around as appropriate to keep everyone relatively fresh. So all being well, I think we should be you know, well inside the five hour limit and picking up the appropriate points in the meantime. The stage start to retrieve the instructions is as frantic as ever. Then it's time to open the envelopes and strategize. Teams will soon split up into pairs, and with canoes, bikes and runners all required en route, the planning now must be absolutely bang on. Those heading for the top of Snowdon have the hardest work, but perhaps the most glorious of views to enjoy. Two local runners, Ross Roberts and John Parkinson from Bangor University, will be the first to the summit. Amazed walkers watch as they complete the climb to the 1,085 metre peak. It's hard in this heat, really hot day, but we worked together, kept it a good steady pace, and it's great to be out on the mountains, it's just fantastic. PWC are next. with Airbus flying their way to the summit in third, as the top becomes increasingly crowded with UK Challenge competitors. Great fun when you see the guys in front of you and you're thinking, it's not a race, but it is a race at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> so third up, these guys are fantastic, getting up here first and second, unbelievable. And some simply take time out to breathe in the amazing view. 
always with their eye on the bigger picture, Accenture take a steadier approach. Losing time to AWE on this part of the challenge, at least. An afternoon of spectacular sights and exhausting efforts, and the stage is over. AWE fighting hard in defence of their title. You've put everything into this, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, that's that's been a hard kind of well four and a quarter hours, but actually I think we've done a pretty good job. Come on, come on, come on. But no matter how hard they run, they've still got to crack the strategy. Were some mistakes made? <laughs> we're, lessons were learned. It's been a good day for AWE, chipping into Accenture's lead by 13 minutes and gaining a place overall. Airbus, with a long history of success in the event, are also moving up. Night is falling over Snowdonia and after a massive day in the mountains, the competitors are mentally and physically exhausted. They're ready for a rest, but no, it's time to dust themselves off and get ready for a dash up this monster staircase. It's going to drain every last drop of energy they've got. And the question is, who can still function when fatigue has set in? This step climb may only be 300 metres long, but it's 180 metres up. Hello, mate. How are you feeling? <laughs> really bad. <sighs> oh, we nearly there yet. Yeah. Then one volunteer from each team must take to the surfboard for stage five, the last of the day, at Adventure Park Snowdonia. Luckily for these willing volunteers, the wave machine is off and it's a straight race to retrieve the instructions. It's already been a long day, and while the stage is not the hardest physically, it will bewilder and befuddle in equal measure as night falls. With codes to crack, using colours that confuse, pretty soon the stress sets in. Red, red, red. Right, all right. Just run round with him! Well, as this fifth stage draws to a close, already some competitors are looking ahead to tomorrow. The challenge now is to keep their brains sharp and their bodies fresh as we enter the third and final day. Welcome back to the CGI UK Challenge, this year taking place in Snowdonia. Betsy Coyard is one of the most popular tourist destinations in North Wales, but right now it's a starting point for the final stage of this three-day competition. All the competitors are here, despite the tiredness, they're raring to go, but who is still in contention? Let's join your commentator, Rob Walker. After a strong week, Accenture looked well-placed, but the final stage is the most prestigious and the one everybody wants to win. PWC in second and AWE in third will want to put pressure on the leaders. We look across the scoreboard and we've had consistency uh, and, and most of the rivals have, have made one or two mistakes which, which uh, puts them behind and they're on the back foot from there. Um, you know, keeping, it, keeping it consistent, playing it safe sometimes but yep. pushing when we can. Set out as a race format with puzzle points, this stage has a short course option but AWE won't be planning anything other than the full route and first place. We take it stage by stage rather than worrying about who's in the lead, where we come, focus on what we've got to do for this one and then take it from there, see how we can come out of it. Well, it's time to oil the gears, stretch out the back and prepare for the final assault. This is the last stage. And they're off most of this stage will involve the mountain bike, but it's a 300-metre burn-up to collect the last set of instructions. 
Good runner on the inside, Ben Neal coming through from Landmark Southwest. He's in the hunt for the Sprinters' Cup. Pulling away from the best of the rest. Five puzzle points on this one. One at the beginning, which he's just picked up now. Three more compulsory and then one optional. AWE in red, the defending champions look as though they're in second place. Oh, there's a faller there, that's somebody from Investec. Now, this is our start puzzle. If SS equals OM, SM equals OH, and then TFH equals OD, SD equals what? Tough one to get things going. CGI Team 12 think they've got it, but there's a shake of the head there from that marshal. This is RE Resource Group, and they are the first to collect their mountain bikes. Here's a clue. 60 seconds equals one minute. 60 minutes equals one hour. TFH is 24 hours. OD is one day. So SD equals. RE Resource Group were the first to get the answer. Airbus in blue, not far behind them. It's a brutal bike stage, this one. And for those of you who've solved the puzzle, SD seven days equals OW one week. Not as simple as it looks, and neither is this course. There'll be a lot of changes here. AWE in red moving through the field quite well. And more than one or two having to stop to walk. There aren't many managing to grind through the gears and push the quads without stopping. So, to our next question point. Airbus leading. Accenture, the winners in 2017, in second. CGI in third. Here we go, then. Question point one. And this really is a toughie. A is the father of C. D is the legitimate son of B. E is the brother to A. If C is the sister of D, then how is B related to E? I'm glad I'm not having to solve this one. Now, the best teams out there will have realized that one of the most effective ways of solving this is to literally draw a family tree. If they've done so, it'll look a little bit like that. There's Accenture. Okay. And once again, the team who are not necessarily the fastest on the physical challenge have given themselves a head start. Airbus into this one first, out in second. That's not bad. Energy gel there for one of the Accenture riders. Meanwhile, some of the others are getting the shake of the head and they're back to the drawing board. Well, once the teams have plotted their family tree, using the last line of information proves key. It reveals B is the mother of C, and therefore the sister-in-law to E. Well done to those of you who solved that one. That's Airbus in the blue. They're now trying to close down the leader's Accenture with the first out onto this section of the bike course. A little bit of a relief to see the downhill section as opposed to that brutal incline. And look at the speed with which Airbus are coming through. And that's the beauty of this stage. Those quickest with the muscles might not necessarily be the fastest with the brains. Airbus going really well here. And it's Graham Williams leading the charge for AWE, the defending champions. They had a few problems with that question point, but they're going really well here on a tough, tough section on this mountain bike course. Airbus arrive at the next question point first, but very soon all three of the leading contenders are there together. This is AWE, and it's a shake of the head. Will it be the familiar sight of Accenture in yellow first to solve? Yeah, yeah. Yes, it will. They just keep on delivering at these question points. Yeah, Phil, go, 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 go. AWE up to second. So the fast cyclists of Airbus have lost a little bit of ground here. Accenture still working hard, but at the end of this section, the bike drop 
It's AWE who have taken the lead. If Sencha's second, you can just see Airbus in the distance. The rest of the competition will be undertaken by foot. A couple of the short course teams in the mix here as AWE look to head towards the last question point. One final test for the mind. The body has to keep on going. Accenture trying to close the gap on the leader's AWE. They would love to regain the crown they last took two years ago, but they just can't live with the physicality of the defending champions at the moment. Airbus still a little way off the pace in third. So to our very last question point, and it's the men and women in yellow who are off. But look at this, AWE are right behind them. And we also have some of the short course teams here, that's PWC, but we're watching the battle between red and yellow. Just a few metres to go until the finish line. It's been a fabulous few days of action. Arm in arm, side by side. And that means it's Accenture who will win, courtesy of their advantage, coming into this stage. They are the champions. As we're running along the, the last stage, there's six of us running within, within a metre of each other. Um, that's been the case even when our summer's not snowed. We've all been pulling along, doing the same thing. Um, and no issues, just absolutely phenomenal. So second place to AWE. They pipped us at the end and the overall, you know, it's, it's their year. So well done to them, all credit to them. They had a, they had a really good three days. Um, I like to think we pushed them pretty hard. PWC took the overall third place finish after three days of intense competition in the spectacular setting of Snowdonia. And next year's UK Challenge will present a brand new set of physical and mental tests in the Lake District. Over the last three days, it's just been amazing. Just seeing everybody's strengths come out. Yeah. 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 It's just been a phenomenal weekend. It really has. You know, getting to the top of Snowdonia, <laughs> that was worth it all. Absolutely amazing. So we've completely smashed it. It was fantastic. It's the best three days I think I've ever had in my life. Competition. A lot of these people came as colleagues, but they will be leaving as friends. They'll take so many memories with them back to the office, and I've no doubt many of them will be back next year. We'll see you then. <laughs>